welcome back to In Business Africa. I'm Nancy Kachungira in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, we're looking at the blue economy around the continent. And now let's go to the island of Zanzibar, off the coast of Tanzania, where raking in seaweed means raking in some cash. Seaweed has been one of the island's main exports since the 1990s, and it's sold to countries such as China, Vietnam, and the United States. Tulanana Bohela has been to visit some of Zanzibar's seaweed farmers. Zanzibar's white sandy beaches and warm waters are an undeniable tourist attraction. And now, these same waters are becoming lucrative in a different way. Seaweed is increasingly becoming Zanzibar's big export. Seaweed export earnings rose from $3.73 million in March 2018 to $3.91 million in March 2019. The sector employs only 3,000 people, 90% of whom are women. Through women groups, many like Maua have been able to secure a steady income. Before coming to the seaweed center, I used to be a seaweed farmer and I used to have other small businesses. When I started working with the seaweed center, I stopped doing those other businesses and carried on with seaweed farming because at the seaweed center, you get more income and it's consistent compared to what I used to get before. Commercially viable seaweed was first introduced into Zanzibar's main island of Unguja in the 1980s from the Philippines. It immediately took to the shallow waters of the Indian Oceans and now mainly used in making skin products but can also be eaten. Mm. Mm. Very salty and crunchy too. The supply of seaweed is largely being driven by the global skincare products market, which is projected to reach close to 180 billion US dollars by 2024. Now enterprises like the Seaweed Center in Zanzibar are taking advantage of the natural skincare boom to produce finished products for export. Um, our seaweed is known for having terrific antioxidant um, abilities. It's also good for sun damage. Um, it also helps with various ailments such as uh, problems with the hair, um, when it lacks protein or there's split ends. Um, it's also known as a food which, which aids your health. Um, so it's got many benefits. Well, we process several hundreds of kilos and, and on a monthly basis we'll be producing, she on a daily basis we'll be producing about a thousand soaps a day, so a thousand products a day using the seaweed. And we sometimes use anywhere between 5 and 20 percent of seaweed in each product. The rising sea temperatures are a big concern to us and we've really had to become uh, much more knowledgeable about how to grow the crop in order to avoid any parasite growth and also to ensure that the seaweed is grown in, in as healthy a condition as possible because um, of course the healthier the seaweed the better it is for our products um, so we've been spending a lot of time researching also partnering with universities in order to ensure that we've got the best seaweed possible. We've had some challenges growing the business, um, particularly import and export is quite difficult. Um, Zanzibar is an island, so where we can, we'll try and get raw material from this island, uh, of course to benefit local businesses, but otherwise we commit to doing business in Africa. So we also import from other African countries. And sometimes, unfortunately, the import and export um, is difficult. So also exporting to our clients is sometimes quite costly from such a beautiful but remote island. As finished products, these items cost between 5 and 10 US dollars, whilst a 50 kilogram bag of raw seaweed fetches around 20 US dollars. Although issues like rising water temperatures are a threat to the crop, the women here are constantly adapting their farming techniques. Tulanana Bohela there, reporting from Zanzibar.